My name is Kim Ajer and welcome to another video. Oh, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some 1.20 build hacks that you can use in your Minecraft builds. Let's get started, shall we? So, as of 22W14A, which is a snapshot that I'm recording this in, there is at least a good amount of blocks that were added. This includes many blocks, such as the bamboo wood set, suspicious sand and gravel, the cherry wood set, which you find in the new cherry grove biome. I want to say, I don't know if I'm correct in that assumption. Um, hopefully editor King Monsieur will tell me. Alright, there's also spots added and two new flower types, the pitcher plant and the torch flower. This is not a new addition. I'm just using this to hold up the hanging signs. We also got new hanging signs, which adds loads of possibilities. Not that much characters you can add, though, to the sign itself. There's a new chiseled bookshelf, which is a whole new bout of creativity. And some new item types as well. So, these are the blocks that were added. Now, let's see how they would look as build hacks. The very first build hack I'm going to be showing you, you all is a build hack called meat on a spit but basically for this build hack i've used the new stripped cherry log as the sort of raw version of the meat and i used a campfire an unlit campfire and coal to simulate uh, ashes coals and the wood of the fire is burned out you can also just try to like that and you have an actual lit campfire underneath for the rare type for the rare type i've used strip mangrove logs so this is the medium rare version which i'm using the unstruck version of mangrove logs for and the last one is the well done version which I'm using dark oak logs for. And that's gonna be the end of this hack. So the second build hack I'm gonna be showing you today is paintbrush. So this is supposed to be an artist painter's studio. And you're walking in here, you see all of these lovely paintings and these flowers and stuff like that. And you see, and for this example, I have a banner that's like a painting of some type. It's supposed to represent that. It's still a work in progress. In the 1.20 update, there's a new brush item that's used to help you find artifacts in suspicious sand and gravel which, of course, will be used in other build hacks that we'll be showing you in this video. I thought I would use this as like a paintbrush for the artists to use to paint things with. I've also included like a plant, a flower pot, as sort of like the water. And for added effect, there's this dirt here, because of course, when you mix a whole bunch of paints together in water, it turns it turns brown most of the time. So that's the end of this build hack. The next build hack involves the new pots and archaeology fe features added in this update. This is more archaeology driven, but in this build hack we're doing ancient paintings. So for this you will need, um, paint, like, these decorated pots. Basically, in the no 1.20 update, there's some pottery shards that you can put on pots. And I thought they would be good as, like, 
ancient paintings and stuff like that. More realistically, they'd probably be, um, like, not in this, not in a linear formation. But because of the hitbox, it's easy to do that. I've also expanded on this scene by including some pots, an extinguished campfire, maybe the ancient peoples who lived here maybe had like some fire used for cooking and stuff like that. I also added a little archaeological thing to investigate and get some pottery shards for these ancient paintings. I also use this as like, sort of like decoration, like the regular pots as like decoration. And that's the end of this build hack. So the fourth build hack is another scenery build hack, but it involves using the new cherry leaves, the bamboo, and the pink petals. This scene is a wedding scene. Basically, this is supposed to represent a wedding. Or at least some weddings, not every wedding is like this, but basically it's all, you know, got some nature around. And I just thought it was a nice fact to show off. Especially with how pretty and romantic this scary leaves is. There's also some seating for like the guests and stuff like that. And that's the end of this build hack. On to the next one. The fifth build hack I'm showing you today is bonsai or potted plants. This involves the new decorated pot and these sort of flower pots. The decorated pot on its own works well as like a planter for like maybe an ornamental tree and stuff like that. But if you include a flower pot, you can add like bamboo or like flower and it works well to create like a, an ornamental tree or maybe just a plant pot for a flower. In this example, I'm using the new torch flower. And that's the end of this build hack. This is another scenery build hack, but this build hack is a palm tree. So in this build hack, I have done a lot for like the scenery type of thing. I've used the suspicious Santa's like extra texture and stuff like that. But the main thing is this palm tree. I've used ancient debris and mangrove leaves as like palm leaves and the trunk of the palm tree. In this palm tree, there's some coconuts, which I use the new decorated pot to make coconuts. And on the ground, there's now, if you don't look at the top texture, you just look at this, it looks like a little coconut on the ground. And technically, if, if you break a coconut open, there's like some inside to it. And you can technically see this as the inside of the coconut. I've also added the torch flower and the pitcher plant as some extra plants and stuff like that but this hack is really good if you want like a tropical beach type of scenery anyways that's the end of this build hack on to the next one so the next build hack I'm gonna be showing you all is a library build hack this is using the chiseled bookshelf stuff and things of that nature. Now from the outside, this doesn't look that great, but the outside doesn't really matter in this case. The inside does. 
So, basically, in this example, I'm showing a grand library. And basically, in this update, it adds a the new chiseled bookshelf. And basically, you can take a book. I'm still not used to this um, this new inventory system. But basically, you can take a book, place it in there, remove it, and it remembers where you placed that book in particular. Now, you can use a chiseled bookshelf to make like a secret door and stuff like that, but I'm not a very good red redstoner, so I don't really have that as an example, but you know how to do like a piston door? This is like the chiseled bookshelf is like a great way to sort of like do a like a hidden secret door and stuff like that but basically you can also have like an enchanting area unfortunately this bookshelf does not give enchanting levels but it's there for like aesthetic purposes and basically this has two levels and i'm also making use of the new bamboo trap door and honestly, I think it's a really nice build hack for your libraries and stuff like that. Anyways, let's go on to the next build hack. So this build hack is involving the new the new hanging signs as like sort of like a crossroads of a sign thing. So basically this road goes to Moderos, which is actually a new city I've presented in this video which will be in the i card in the corner you see it i got the video i uploaded that a couple weeks ago i'm really proud of it anyways let's continue with the bell pack and so basically this road goes to moderos and this is hypothetically speaking and this road goes to Nafopelantisilio Kokokoch. I don't know if I said it properly because I don't speak Welsh. And it's a Welsh town in Wales. But I'm just using that as an example. And I'm using the lodestone at as sort of like a foundation for the the signpost. I feel like the decorated bot is sort of like a medium block between there. And for the road, I've used a mixture of suspicious gravel, tough gravel, and I've added stone buttons as sort of like stones along an old beaten path. So that's the end of this build hack. On to the next one. This is another scenery build hack. Basically, these are like research scenes. And this is a more modern version, like maybe a laboratory and stuff like that. Basically, in this example, I'm using the Torch flower and the bitter plant. It's like plants the scientists are studying and stuff like that. I've also added the. I forgot what this is called, but it's the warped mushroom and the crimson mushroom. I added that as like some like mysterious plants that scientists are trying to figure out. How it existed and stuff like that. And I've also included like a TV screen of like the scientist just being there and being like, hmm, very interesting. Stuff like that. 
basically this is a modern research center and this build deck over here is a more mystical sort of like magic like maybe a witch or wizard is like studying the various plants here and of course I've got a little little friend who like any cat has to have attention but basically I have a quartz plant and a pitcher plant as well as like a crystal and stuff like that for like the witch to study and of course the witch red steiner studies right here let's see what the, the witch is written down I guess maybe maybe do that um, but anyways let's continue on there's like a cauldron and there's like some like plants and stuff growing everywhere filled with magic and stuff like that and that's the end of this build hack this build hack again is another scenery type of build hack but this build pack is a very simple one. Basically, this is like maybe a barbecue scene. Basically, this is the barbecue and this is like the spatula to flip like the burgers and stuff like that. At the barbecues I've been to, there's always been these like tiki torches and they always have like bamboo and like a light at the top basically for the light you can use a candle or alternatively you can use a lantern as like a light top a tiki torch and that's the end of this build hack and the end of this video so i hope you all enjoyed this video and these build hacks I know there wasn't a whole lot, but then again, there wasn't a whole lot added to the update. Also, before I go, this is actually one of two videos dealing with 1.20. The next 1.20 video won't be coming out soon, but it's a special surprise video. And I can't wait for you all to see it. But I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching the video, and I'll see you all in the next video.